And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. What's the best pizza topping? Now, everyone has a different one. Most people probably would pick cheese and pepperoni. Some people have different ones. And, you know, usually it's kind of the joke that anchovies are a horrible pizza topping, but they must be somebody's favorite because they exist and people put them on pizza. And there's all different things. What makes something good and sour? What's a great sandwich topping? Do you like the quote unquote Dagwood sandwich? You know, who thought that sauerkraut was a good thing to put on the sandwich? Thank you, sir. Well, that's kind of what this game is. Uh, Chef Cook which is a fun little game from Blue Orange Games. Let me show you how it plays. Chef Cuckoo revolves around these cards that show different types of food. The foods are in different categories and you can see uh, the color background and it shows you how many calories are in it. And I don't guess that matters, but I suppose that's there just for educational purposes. But there's all different types of ingredients that you might put in different foods. And some of them are delicious to different people and some of them are not. And this was a facet that my kids really enjoyed about the game because they like, oh, look, there's peppers, oh, Swiss cheese, yay, shrimp, you know. And they had a good time looking at these pictures. And so what's going to happen in the game is you're going to draw six of these, one, two, three, four, five, six and then one person is going to be the judge each turn and that judge is going to draw one of these square cards and these cards are worst soup best pizza worst salad worst pasta worst pizza best salad best pasta best omelet best sandwich worst sandwich worst omelet and best soup so it's best or worst of one of those things and if you get one of these things uh, let's say you have worst salad you're going to assume that all the salads people have include lettuce so if you have pasta you're going to assume that they all have pasta in them the worst pizza it's all on dough worst sandwich is all on bread etc but then each other player is going to look through their cards and pick three of them that they think would fit that category. So let's say we're, we're doing worst salad and it's my turn. I'm like, oh, what were these? Oh man, this is, this is pretty good stuff. Well, I don't really like mayo on my salads and mayo, chili, peppers, and uh, bacon. And I'm looking at the judge and thinking, well, I don't, I don't think they like bacon. So maybe that's it. So then we put them down. Meanwhile, the judge has their eyes closed and everyone is putting them down. And when they're down, we mix them up a little bit so the judge doesn't know who's or who's. And then we show what might be the worst salad. Is it mussels, apples, and broccoli? Or is it mustard, Brussels sprouts, and avocado? Or is it mayo, chili peppers, and bacon? That's what the one I'm hoping they pick. Or is it oranges, vinegar, and ice cream? And, or is it popcorn, honey, and nuts? Or is it potatoes, banana, and chocolate? Now, some of those are absolutely disgusting, but the judge is going to pick one. And when the judge picks yours, then woohoo, you get a star. And then it goes to the next judge. So, and then everyone will fill back up to six cards. And then you do the same thing again as you're doing that. So you have to be careful to make sure that you kind of play to the judge. Now, after every, the, the, the best one, the, the one the judge picks will get two and the second place gets one star and so you're accumulating these stars and you can either play around the table once where everybody gets to be the judge once or you can just play to be the first person to get to five stars is the winner. Chef Cuckoo is loads of fun. I really got a kick out of playing this game. Um, now if I was wanted to play this game on a permanent level I would love to have 400 different cards with all kinds of weird ingredients. This would be such a great game to customize to make just interesting things. That gives me an idea, but I mean, just hilarious mixtures of different things that you can do. But as it is, there's enough in here that kids are really going to get a kick out of this. Kids are really going to have a lot of fun as they put this together. Every time we played it, the kids have just said, oh, look, pickles and oranges and nuts, gross or great. And they have fun making and they love it. They really like it. I mean, my kids absolutely thought it was fantastic when they played this and the, the 
it was my turn to be a judge or my wife's turn to be a judge and we would pick theirs and they were so proud of that. You liked what I picked. Uh, the artwork is good. The ideas are great. This is just a fun, fun little game. It has a lot of, uh, you know, similarities to apples to apples, but the idea of picking the worst or best food is something that people like doing. And I really think this one's going to have a lot of legs. Chef, chef, chef. Cuckoo. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door! That's right. Shut it. Yeah. Yeah.